Alright, sir, climb at 8,500, frequency change approved, 153 Tango. Beautiful morning. That it is. You ever have a flying dream? I have. My interest in flying began when I was about two years old. I know for some of you, that may seem like yesterday. But when I'm flying, I'm with somebody else and I'm up in the clouds, swearing really high above the sky. Well, right now I am taking flight lessons. I've got 10 hours towards my private pilot license, and I'm going to keep working towards that. I'm, gonna ho I'm trying to get my license by 17. My dreams are to be a pilot, and to be a senator. Some of my, one of my biggest goals is to have a profession in aviation, wherever that may take me. And I've kind of had that dream since I was very young, like being able to sit in a cockpit like this and have someone point out, uh, this is the throttle, or these are the different switches that a pilot in the Air Force and airline would see. I am a tactile and auditorial learner. And so I think, um, a school that teaches like kind of hands-on and kind of says, says it to you would be great. And I think that that's the key to teaching me and to teaching most other people. Yeah, um, I'd say, you know, flying, if they ever got a chance to fly during the school year, um, you know, just be yourself. Don't feel super tense. Just kind of let yourself be yourself and then you'll get the hang of it. Challenging as boys are, but he's a smart kid and, he, and he's really passionate about things that he really enjoys. And um, it's great to see his, his own love of flying develop. As a parent and to be involved with other kids and his friends and everything else, to see somebody at 18, 19 years old that's driven and passionate and has a direction, and you know they're going to hit bumps in the road, you get that. I mean, I think that's the kind of program that a lot of people are looking, a lot of educators are looking for. You know, when I first heard from Greg Anderson about the Wings Academy, or the Wings Aerospace Academy, uh, I was both disappointed and incredibly excited. I was disappointed because I was born too early. Again, having spent 27 years in aviation, uh, I knew that this would have been the school for me. But I was incredibly excited because both of my children may have an opportunity to come here. What I can call my first flight happened two years ago. It was an hour flight that my parents surprised me with over the valley in Alamosa. The feeling was like no other. And when the pilot said, would you like to take control of the airplane? And I flew for the first time, I was hooked. It was the nurturing of, uh, of that desire that he had that was what I felt our, our job was to support his interest. And we were sitting uh, at the dinner table, and he he looked at us and he said, "You know, I can't believe that I'm getting paid to do this." Mm -hmm.